We've got some hidden YouTube playback tricks. Let me show you. Welcome back to the channel. So if you're watching me right now, you're probably watching on YouTube, am I correct? Anyways, what this video is about, these are gonna be hidden kind of features built into YouTube for like playback and stuff. They're basically hidden features that a lot of people don't even know about. And so if you watch a lot of YouTube videos and you wanna know some kind of hidden tricks in there that actually make the viewing experience better or finding content better in YouTube videos, I'm gonna show you all about that right now. Now these should work both on a Mac and a PC. I believe one of them only works on a Mac and I'll point that one out. But all the other ones I think work on both Mac and PCs so you can watch it if you have a Mac or a PC. <laughs> Whoops, I forgot to tell you, I gotta share my screen, let's go. All right, as you know, basically, if you look at my screen here, you're gonna notice that this video here, this is one of my old videos, this has chapters in it, and you can see these little lines down here, and if you kind of mouse over them, it's gonna tell you what chapter you're moving to. See how it says fan noise, sidecar, airdrop, things like that. So you can skip the different chapters as you want to. Everyone, I think, knows about that for sure. But let's just assume that you actually go to a video here. This is another video, and it doesn't have any chapters, all right? One, you know, and basically, though, you wanna find information on the video so you can skip to it, but there's no chapters. What do you do? Well, there's a cool feature, look at this. So if you look at my screen, over here, you see these little three dots over here? You wanna click on those three dots, and then down here it says show transcript. See it right there? Click on that. Now over in the right-hand corner, it opens up this bar, and look how cool this is. This is actually gonna open up kind of, it's not the entire transcript, but it's gonna be bits and pieces of it, but tons of all the words that I talked about in the video. And you can actually go down to individual pieces of this, any of these things, click on one of them like that, and it's gonna move you right to that part of the video. Unfortunately, an ad comes up of all things. <laughs> and so we'll click this ad off. Of course, it always happens, right? Um, but you can see it clicked right to that section. So I'm gonna pause it again. So you can see you can go through just tons and tons of transcripts here. Click on the section or the exact part that you wanna to go to in the video. And it's way better than chapters because it's actually even more detailed. So a lot of people have no idea that it exists and it might help some of you out, let me know. All right, so for this next one, this is kind of cool, but I think this might be just for the Mac. I, you can, guys can check it on the PC and let me know. But look at my screen over here. So if you're looking at this, you, you obviously know, like there's, obviously you can go to theater mode, you can go to uh, different types of screen sizes, you can go to full screen. This little mini player here, if you click on that, what's kind of cool about that is it basically opens up a little mini player, see it down here? And then you can browse YouTube as you like and watch the video at the same time. That's one thing you can do. If you wanna go back to that, you can click that and it's gonna bring you back to the video there. So that's really that's really simple, right? But let's just say you wanna actually have that mini player on your kind of desktop and you wanna do work and stuff in the background. What you wanna do is you wanna make sure you have right click enabled on the Mac. You wanna right click on the actual video. So right click once and then right away, just right click a second time. It's gonna bring up a second menu. Let me just do that one more time. I'm gonna click off. So I right click once and then actually right click another time, two times. And then you go here to enter, actually, I'm sorry, enter picture in picture, see it right there? So you click on that, now look what happens. It created this little screen, see it over here? And now what I can do is if I even, you know, if I go up and I minimize or I maximize or whatever, if I minimize what I'm working on and move this around, I can have this little screen any size I want. I can basically make it very tiny like this. See how small that is? If I wanna watch something, I can have it huge. But whatever goes, it's gonna basically go on top of that so you can watch that movie or watch that YouTube video as you're working. So it's kind of a cool thing, but you have to know the double right click on the video. All right, for the next one, let's check my screen out again. So here's another video and it has all these different chapters. These are already built in like I told you earlier. You can mouse over them to see what they are. But let's say you wanna see what they all are very quickly. All you have to do is see down here where it actually says hardware. That's kind of the chapter that you're in currently. It's gonna list it right here. Click on that right there. Yours is not gonna say hardware. It's gonna say whatever that chapter name is. But you click on it right there and it opens up over here on the right, look at that. Again, it's gonna open up now all the chapters, see that? So all the chapters that that user created will open up on the right. They're the same chapters that are down here in the timeline, but they're a lot easier to navigate that way. So basically you can go up here and you can navigate through the chapters, click on one and it's gonna bring you right to the sidecar chapter just like that did. So hopefully that helps. It's just one extra little thing that helps people kind of narrow down their searches and a lot of people don't know about. All right, for the next one, let's say you find like a really funny part of a video and you wanna give it to a friend, but you don't wanna send them the whole video and say, hey, check out, you know, three minutes and 23 seconds. Look at my screen. So basically all you have to do for this is you kind of navigate to the part of the video that you wanna start where you wanna show your friend at. You go over here and you click, you right click again, but this time you only click one time on it. And then you go down to copy video URL at current time. 
So if you click that, it's going to put, it's going to copy it to your clipboard, and then you can go ahead and paste that into like an email or something. And when someone clicks on that, it's going to start the video exactly at that point in time, and it's not going to start it from the beginning. So you can give them exactly where they, what you wanted them to see in the video. All right, for this next one, I got to show you my screen over here. Let's assume you're watching a video and you want to kind of skip ahead. Well, we all know right now, I think, at least most people may know, if you click the arrow and you click it to the right, the right arrow, see how that on my screen, it's going to move it five seconds ahead. If I click the left arrow, it's going to move it five seconds behind. A lot of people don't know that there's basically three other keys that can help you go 10 seconds. I don't know why Apple did this or why actually, not Apple, but YouTube did this. You can basically use the J, K, and L. So if you click the L, watch that, it's 10 seconds forward. If you click the J, it's 10 seconds backwards. So instead of five seconds, it's 10 seconds. And then the K basically will pause it for you. So if you want to quick, quickly pause the video, just click the K button. The space bar also works, but I guess it's right in between moving back and forth those 10 seconds. So it just gives you another increment to move back and forth on. All right, this next one's really weird, so stay with me here. Now, if you, I pause in my screen here, but let's say you're looking for a very specific part of a video and you want to go frame by frame. You want to move it forward by one frame or back by one frame, very small incremental movements on the video. Basically, what you want to do is if you look at your keyboard, there's a comma and a period. Now, watch what happens. If I click the period, you'll watch on my screen here, the period is going to move this one frame at a time. I'm stopping and see how it's moving super slow. And then basically the comma moves it backwards one frame. So if you hold it down, it's going to go quickly, basically like this. You can, or you actually have to push it a lot of times like that. But you can see as I'm pushing it, it goes fast, but it's just one frame that way and that way. So if you want to get something very specific, like a movement or something, let's say a plane's going by really quickly or a spaceship or something, use the basically the comma and the period and you're going to get frame by frame on the YouTube video. Now, if you hold down the shift key and you click on the comma and the period, watch what happens on my screen. So I'm holding the shift down. This time I'm going to click the period. You can see it went up by 1.5 times. So now the video has gone up, increased its speed actually by 1.5 times if you want to watch something faster. So if I'm holding shift and I click the comma, it's going to go back. So I can make it slower, faster, or just one times, which is the actual speed of the video. So that's the difference between holding that shift key down and not holding the shift is, you know, basically in the speed of how you're going to move it back and forward. Now this next one, nobody knows about it, and I think people do it accidentally, but I don't think anybody knows about it. So your keyboard, now if you look at my screen here, you can see down here in the bar, see I'm, I'm kind of here about a third through the video. Well, if I look at my keyboard and I click the one key, watch what happens down here. I click one, see where the video, it went way back over here. Why did it go back there? It went to the 10% mark of the video. So if I look at my keyboard again and I click four, it's gonna go to 40%, see right there. If I click eight, or let me click nine, it's now it's at 90%. So if you want to go to, you know, here comes an ad again. Here, I can't get away from the ads, although it's my channel, so I'm, maybe I'm making some income, I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to skip that. And basically, so you can click anywhere 1 through 10 um, or 1 through 0, and it's going to move the actual clip up to 10%, 20%, 30%, 40%, 50%, if that's useful. But a lot of people don't even know that exists. They actually just accidentally hit it sometimes, and it moves, and they don't know why. That's the reason. All right, so for this next one, if you look at my screen, you basically have, you can see here, you know, I'm in a chapter called Sidecar. You can see it right there. Now this time, if I hold the Option key down and use the left and right arrows, watch what happens. It basically will skip right off. It'll go basically through all the different chapters. So if you want to skip through chapters very quickly, look how quick that is. You hold on the Option key and click the left and right arrow, and that's going to basically make sure that it moves through the chapters very quickly. So a couple little things here, and we'll wrap all this up if you look at my screen. The one key you always want to remember is, let's say you're watching a YouTube video at work or something, and you want to just turn the volume off really quickly, just click the M key. Hear that? It's going to basically mute it. I unmuted it, but it basically mutes the video really quickly, so the M on the keyboard is actually a mute button. This next one, let's say you just want to read closed captions. You just, you know, you don't want noise to come up. So as I'm playing the video, if you click C, it's going to toggle closed captions on and off. See that? So the C key does that. Now I'm going to turn off for a second here. Now what you can, well, let me just leave them on for a second. I want to show you something. Look at my screen. So if you go in here and you go into settings, see this right here? You can go into subtitles right here. See that right there? Click on that and then you go up to options right here. What you can do is you can actually change all the different fonts and the colors and the size of those closed captions. So if you want them really small or really big or you want them bright yellow or bright green, you can do that right there. So I just wanted to let you know that the closed captioning can be edited down to a certain size. All right, and then if you're forgetting all this stuff, there's one page that's actually the best. So look at my screen over here. All you have to do is you want to make sure you're on the video. Hold down the shift key and then click basically the forward slash. So the shift and forward slash. Watch this. There you go. It brings up a menu of all the commands I just told you. Look at all those commands. So again, it's shift and then basically the forward slash down here. It's basically below the question mark. 
click on that, you can see it toggles that on and off. But these are gonna be all the different things you can actually do inside of YouTube with the keyboard with quick functions. You let me know, are these things you knew about or not? I know a lot of people kind of hear about them, but they never learn them and it's hard to remember them. So just remember that basically shift and then the forward slash brings up that screen and it's gonna give you a whole bunch of commands there. And then also remember the double right click and things like that. If you remember all that stuff, it's gonna be pretty easy to pick this up. I might as well show people to probably get more use out of them than I can. So I just go ahead and make a video and uh, hope it helps people out there. So I'm a Mac channel. If you wanna subscribe, I do things like this from time to time and I will do some PCs every once in a while if I find something that I like comparable to the Macs. So subscribe if you like technology because I do all types of hubs and you know you name it batteries and you you know all technology and all while it always usually works with the Mac it also will work with PCs and stuff like that. If you're a Mac hater maybe don't subscribe but at the end of the day I'll talk to everybody in the near future. I make a couple of videos a week. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.